Hey VC, Pretty Green Vinyl Guy here with uh, a quick vinyl update on some uh, used uh, purchases I found this last week. And um, But before I do that, I just want to do a big shout out to those that have entered my 100 subs contest. I'll put the link below in case some of you come across and decide you want to enter. We've got another week to go. I'm hoping to announce the winner on New Year's Day. Um, but so far, uh, Big shout out to Steve Witte, uh, Peaches from The Vinyl Countdown, uh, Andrew from Tales from the Crates, uh, <laughs> Oral Retentive, <laughs> uh, Tom Dawson, and Grunge Finland. Um, if you've entered and I didn't see it yet, I'll, I'll, I'll get to it. So if I didn't say your name, thank you for entering and I appreciate it. We've got some pretty great super bands uh, being formed there. I'm liking everybody's creativity. Um, so this will be the last video uh, before the holidays. You know, I wish you all the best. Uh, season's greetings to everybody. I finally had a day, first day off work before the holidays. I'm trying to jam and get these uploaded while I get out and do some shopping today. Um, so I've got 10, I think 10 albums that um, I'm going to get going here. Um, so I've got uh, on the jazz side, I usually do a separate jazz, but I've only got one. So uh, this is um, Miles Davis, uh, Sketches of Spain. Um, this has got uh, Gil Evans uh, um, conducting some orchestral mu music, and there's lots of uh, Spanish instrumentation in the background. Um, I remember having this on CD when I was sort of in that Miles Davis phase, and I had to, you know, learn everything. And I remember this being one that I actually really did like. I don't like all of Miles Davis's work. Uh, I, it sometimes it just gets too heavy and too crazy, um, but I remember really enjoying this, so I was glad to find that. Um, next one I found. Next one I found um, a classic. Um, this is uh, Van Morrison's uh, Astral Weeks. This was his uh, second album recorded in New York. When he was a very young man. Uh, this is his first album on the Warner Brothers label. And uh, this is a Canadian first pressing. In the, the cover's got a bit of ring wear. Um, but the vinyl is absolutely beautiful. And um, I do have a, a remastered copy of this. But I was looking for um, a nice, clean, original pressing. Um, not a mark on that, just beautiful. Um, if, if you know Van Morrison, you, but maybe you don't know this album, or if you don't even know who Van Morrison is, um, Van the Man, the Belfast Cowboy, um, uh, is, uh, this is considered in many top, top ten lists as one of the greatest albums of all time. Um, Astro Weeks, uh, Sweet Thing, Cypress Avenue, uh, Young Lovers Do, Madam George, Ballerina, Slim Soul Slider. <laughs> there is not a bad song on this album. Um, I was born in Belfast, and actually my mom uh, went to school with Van Morrison, and uh, she says she dated him, but I don't believe her. Um, but um, where my grandparents lived in, Bel lived in Belfast, uh, in those classic row houses, Van Morrison's house was the next street over. And, um, yeah, I've walked past his house, his original house, many times. There's a plaque out front that says this is the house Van Morrison was born in. Um, so a group that I didn't really know much about, I know the one song, uh, Kick Out the Jams. And, of course, we're talking about uh, MC5. This is, uh, this is not an original. Um, I haven't looked it up yet on Discogs, but I know it's not an original because it's edited. Because in the original of this album, Kick Out the Jams, um, of course, uh, they, uh, the singer, I can't remember his name right now, uh, Rob Teener, he says, Kick Out the Jams, motherfuckers. And... Uh, of course, nobody liked that, so it was edited out, and on this version it says Brothers and Sisters. Um, that aside, um, I'd never heard this album in its entirety, and I didn't realize it was actually a live recording. And um, this is a fantastic album. 
I re now I really want to get the original if I can find it. Um, but I understand it's quite pricey. So anyway, I'm happy to have this and then I really, really enjoyed it. So once I realized that it, it wasn't an original and had the, um, the edited version on it, I also found uh, MC5's Greatest Hits. And uh, this has the uh, Kick Out the Jams and it has the original uncensored version. So at least I have the uncensored version. Um, and uh, just kind of ironic that I had no MC5 and all of a sudden I got two. <laughs> uh, this next album is uh, uh, Chardé, uh, Promise, which is I think her second album. And um, this is uh, one of those albums, it's um, lovely produced. Like it's kind of like an audiophile quality uh, without the audiophile price. And um, this of course, um, so it's kind of like Blondie. Chardet is not Chardet. Chardet is actually the name of the band. Her name is Chardet Adu. Um, but the whole band is actually considered Chardet. And um, yeah, like I say, the production value on this is amazing. Um, this had uh, It's a Crime, uh, The Sweetest Taboo, uh, Jezebel, Never As Good As The First Time, or Standout Tracks. And yeah, if you can find this, it's usually not super expensive, but production-wise, it's a fantastic album. Um, this is a live album. Uh, by, I always like to throw a Canadian band in there, being that I'm in Canada. And uh, this needs no introduction. This is Rush, Exit Stage Left. This was in the used, new, new Arrivals used bin at my local store. Um, I believe this is um, the Moving Pictures tour. Um, and oh, I can't remember the other album. From what I know on this album, it was uh, the two albums and then uh, they took the best. I believe one of these is from a concert in Glasgow in Scotland. And um, yeah, I can't remember now, but it's got all the classic rush up until that time. Um, YYZ, uh, Spirit of Radio, uh, Tom Sawyer, um, Jacob's Ladder, Closer to the Heart, it's all on there. Uh, classic Rush, classic album, great live stuff. Super good. Um, super excited to pick this up. I know I show the police quite a bit and I always get a lot of comments, uh, so I know there's a lot of police fans out there. And uh, But I, I came across a Zenyatta Madata uh, Japanese pressing. And uh, yeah, like when you can find these uh, uh, good quality police albums, they sound so good. The, mu the musicianship, I mean, all three of them were, were epic um, at their instruments. There's no argument about that. And um, I think this is one of the greatest side ones um, in, in music. I mean, uh, Don't Stand So Close To Me, of course, was the hit, uh, Driven To Tears. When the world is running down, you make the best of what's still around. Uh, canary in a coal mine, voices inside my head and bombs away. Uh, and, and you know, side two is not too shabby either. Uh, I was never a big do 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 da 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 fan, um, but I love behind my camel and I love man in a suitcase and I love shadows in the rain. Um, I particularly love what Sting did with shadows in the rain when he uh, jazzed it up uh, later in his career. Um, yeah, so super stoked to get a Japanese pressing of Zenyatta Madata. Sounds awesome. Uh, okay, here's a classic. I'm actually going to do a Dylan... Uh, a, the best of my Dylan collection, because I've actually been building some Dylan very quietly, and I haven't done a lot of um, uh, updates on any of those, I because I sort of started a pile, and that was kind of the plan, but... Super stoked to find a decent copy of Blonde on Blonde with the iconic uh, album cover. And, uh, you know, this is one of his best albums, Many People's Eyes. This is on the Columbia uh, 360 in stereo. Um, of course, this has um, so many great songs on it. Uh, I'm a big Stuck Inside of Memphis. 
Um, anyway, super excited to find that. I do have uh, uh, one of the newer uh, repressings from the last couple of years, but I always like to find an original and good copy if I can, um, even just to compare the two. And uh, there's something about finding a, a good copy of something that you like in an original. And then uh, this is an album that I didn't really know much about. I do have um, some uh, Iggy and, I, and Stooges albums, but um, Andrew from Tales from the Crate, he of course did his 100 to 1 countdown over the last uh, month or so, and his number one album was Iggy and the Stooges Raw Power. And I just happened to come across this in my local shop up on the wall. This is an original uh, Canadian pressing on the Columbia label. And uh, yeah, this is a fantastic album. Of course, I never doubted you, Andrew. Um, but super stoked to have this and I've already played it like three times. Uh, again, uh, Love Side 1, uh, Search and Destroy and Gimme Danger are, are badass. Um, yeah, so there you go. So that's my, uh, my vinyl update for the end of the year. And uh, again, wish y'all happy holidays and uh, peace and love to everybody. Cheers.